What is going on, Roland Empire? Here, you guys, to give me a video. I thought today for today's topic, we should be talking about House of Gucci. House of Gucci is 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 adapted from a book that's I don't know if it's I think it was someone from the Gucci family or someone has released about their the, this issue of what is the Gucci company, you know, with the bags and all that, what Gucci's become. But this is the story of the family. Really, Scott decided to adapt that and thought this was good and all that to kind of bring in into the movie adaptation of how all these families essentially, you know, you got, you know, generations from like the uncles, the fathers, the nephews, the sons and all that trying to carry on this legacy and having their version of struggles of wanting to do their own thing. That kind of thing that you expect in a simple kind of 101 of a, of a biopic or at least what, you know, of a character wants to go to he's like i don't want to carry on what you want you know head of generation whatever i want to do my new thing as a newer generation now this kind of speak it's that kind of thing and this one has stars from jerry little lady gaga jeremy irons al pacino and the great adam driver i like adam driver as in you know what he is you know star wars and all so all these people you know shepherding the house of gucci you know can't live up i like the trailers they were very exciting i love the way they they sold it with the right energy, with the right editing of the trailer, but the product of itself, Ridley Scott, being an accomplished director, has had hidden misses. Uh, I heard that The Last Duel was great. It's funny how House of Gucci also comes up in the same year, but you know, when you gotta catch up with a lot of film release dates, some are bound to kind of have that kind of windows of opportunity to release a couple within a year and all. But again, like I said, does this live up with the expectations? Can it be nominated for awards? Does it have the potential for the awards and all that? It it might on certain kind of things, and this looks really good and promising. I can't help to say I actually enjoyed it and all that, and I find the characters entertaining, really or realistic, uh, relatable. That's a different story. Maybe some, but not everybody. But I don't know if really this will win any kind of major awards. Seriously, um. It's a disappointment in that sense. I thought, you know, there was a lot of potential. I liked how it looked and everything. The way, you know, tensions were built. The way family dialogues and everything. All these actors giving what they can. But still kind of ringing in, you know, how the accents, you know, maybe could have been more realistic. And then some characters, like, why are they kind of being presented this way? Is this really how they were in real life? Uh, Adam Driver does show that he is really capable. He, he within his own performances, can really sell it. And, you know, you do have actors here that are all very familiar in the whole thespian and just in acting general range. They carry it to have a good time, to make it feel like a very expensive soap opera kind of thing. But in regards to how, you know, maybe this played out where they try were pushing for some kind of awards campaign, uh... I don't know if I can really see this being best picture. I don't know if I can really see this being best screenplay, anything like that. Maybe, like I said, some kind of like, you know, costume design. Maybe one of them as an actor. But overall, of it being shooted as like one of the top five movies of the year, I don't think so. But I really had a good time, just like I said, like seeing how the drama unveils and how how certain scenes play out depending because of like i don't know lady gaga and aiding adam driver how their how their chemistry you know goes up and down up and down that kind of stuff i liked all that and i liked how al pacino and jeremy irons were selling the whole just they felt like they were a family a dysfunctional family but like a really relatable dysfunctional family i'm not so sure i had fun with the whole fashion thing you know the gucci thing that was very exciting you know and i liked that yeah lady gaga and adam driver being the two main performers you know they acted like they really truly cared it's just the way the final product was all assembled you know there are just things that like maybe i could have enjoyed better better and maybe this was like certain different actors kind of taking the role or maybe just giving them more of a push to kind of to kind of sell it more like i believed it because they cared and all but i really wanted to see more 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 weight more of how this sort of kind of was being pitched and all just the way it looked I wanted to see more drama in this it had it but it was a lot of times kind of like 
kind of corny and cappy, and I still enjoyed all that. So, like, I, as a fan, I would like it, but as a critique, inspiring filmmaker kind of thing, I wouldn't have want to shot it this way. I'm curious to know, you know, what were the decisions of having all these things kind of like play out the way they did. The the biggest uh, weakness I think it had was the length. I don't think we needed to go as far as we could. We really could have gone 20, 30 minutes less. But still throughout a lot, what really worked, it worked in all. And, but also it just couldn't help to feel very kind of formulaic. Like it would have been nice to kind of branch out a bit, seeing how this is Gucci. You know, Gucci should like go out, be wild and all. It still was very formulaic. Um, it's just that kind of, that is that line. Like, you know, audience member, I kind of, kind of enjoyed it. I understood what the hype was. I still had criticisms with it where like, it just wasn't all out perfect. Even when some things kind of like, are being set up, I'm like, is this supposed to be like funny? I'm not so sure with the way certain delivery is done. And then when certain kind of uh, resolutions happen, you know, it's kind of makes for awkward, funny tension and all. But I, I'm not sure if like that's how it is played or just because of how it's been. Now this is how we accept it. Um, I do like how, how it, how aware the film is. So I guess maybe that's what I also enjoy. I I like how self aware sort of the film is and all. It's just man, I kind of wish if this would have been one of my favorite moments of the year, but it really wasn't. It's just, it really, it really was a darn good time of a film. I really wanted it to be like all the performances and all and just the story behind it. But it's just a very kind of expensive kind of like film that kind of caters to kind of like the, the the whole glamour side of this. Like I said, it really is a soap opera. The soap opera, if you really enjoy this, that's really what's going to, you know, give you a, gra a gratifying, you know, satisfying kind of gonna gravitate and all for you and all and i still like the movie i just really wish the movie could have had better executions better just character decisions motives like being sold even though some of the characters still gave good performances so like really what a lot of this film really worked best was just how the characters were were having a good time like i enjoyed them just i wanted more but i still liked them that's really what sold it for me the most of how I enjoyed this movie and all. But let me know guys that you know. This maybe was one of your least favorite Ridley Scott movies. This probably was your favorite Ridley Scott movie of the year. Who knows? Let me know how much it worked. See, you know, where do you rank it in your top 10 films of the year at all? You know, these are all my thoughts and opinions. I thought a lot of the, a lot of just editing designs, just a lot of a script and all that. Could have been better polished. Acting could have been way better. But I still like the passion. I still like the, how the actors really were enjoying the, themselves and all that. And it made me have a good time with the film. And I enjoyed it, you know, from those kinds of elements. And that kind of sense of coming into all this. So all this in the comments below. And as always, Roman Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.